I know, not at all. <laughs> to be fair, you know, there's a lot made of that. You know, at the end of the, at the end of the day, um, these guys have been phenomenal. The record shows that. But at the same time, you know, they have been living in an era where the last, you know, five or six weeks, there's been a lot of cup games in between. So league games have been dragged out, and uh, this is our first home league game since Sligo. And that seems as if it's, as if it's, if it's, if it's, if it's I can only win, win, you know. So when you look at it, it's just been the way the cup has gone, and and every second week, and uh, the, the league cup game, obviously we were due to play the dock last week, that was postponed. So it's just been that way. So it's, it's dragged it, but also from the point of view that everyone just thinks it's going to happen. It doesn't happen if they're in the right. You win nothing easy. You have to go the whole way, and you have to get over the line and get your hands on the, on the trophy. And if you do, you do. And if you don't. You have no excuses, and uh, you know. But from the outside, everyone is experts, and they think it's easy. It's not. Mm. Never. There's no such thing as as easy titles, easy cups, nothing. We know that in our history. You look around the world at all sports. You know, you have to earn the right to to, to win things. And uh, so, from our point of view, um, you know, have the lads been somewhere else? I don't think so. I just think every team has raised their game. You know, the goals we give away on the other night. It's desperately disappointing. You couldn't allow for the first goal. It would never happen again. But it happened the other night. Mm. And um, but at the same time, you know, if we got back to two each, we could have won the match. But we didn't take the chances, and that, these things happen. Everybody was scoring against Dundalk uh, to win against Dundalk tomorrow night. Uh, make an extra special. It doesn't matter. You know, I know, I know. Maybe from a supporter's point of view, maybe they think that. From my point of view, I really just want the lads to go out and give a performance. I want our supporters, the Rebel Army, to come into the ground early. It's an early kick-off, come in in their numbers as they have all year. It's been phenomenal. Get into the ground early, pack it out, and just create that positive vibe. Get right behind the lads all the way through the game and, and see can we give a performance that we've given for most of the season tomorrow night. And, and uh, you know, if we do that, I think we'll be fine. And uh, I don't mind once we give our best performance. And that's what I, that, that's what I want from the, the lads, not to leave anything behind them. And, and ultimately... Um, that's, that's really where we're at. It's, there's, there's, it, there's nothing, you know, people can look and analyse different things. Ultimately, at the end of the day, the lads cross the white line tomorrow night. They need to leave everything in the, on the pitch and um, and uh, that's it really. Yeah, John, every, everybody in the squad will obviously be itching to get in from the start against Dundalk. Uh, the title to be won potentially on Monday night. Um, will there be a few, few changes in the Limerick match and uh, will there be tactical changes? And, People like Conor McCormick to come in, maybe a few fresh players maybe? Well, we're, 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 looking, we're looking at the options. Ultimately, at the end of the day, you know, the bottom line is why we acknowledged that in Rovers we didn't, play, we didn't play well for the first half, like the other day against Limerick. You know, we did play well. You know, I think the corner count, you know, with 16 corners, so um, we had 14 shots on goal. Um, Brennan Clark made five very good saves. So it wasn't that we didn't play well. We played. We played well. The problem was that we were two down after ten minutes from, from giving you know two bad goals away, and then you're chasing the game, and it fell into Limerick's hands because they played the counter attack. That's their game. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, on another night, we would have scored. We could have scored in the second half, but we didn't. And uh, so, you know, it's 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 really taking the positives of the other night of how well we played, but but cutting out the mistakes and ultimately. Um, Keep, keep go back playing at a higher intensity, which which we've done all season, and that's that, that that's where it's at. And uh, there's no there's no mystery on that. Yeah, will there be changes there? Like will there be tactical changes considering we're playing the, the form team in the league? Done that. You know, tactically, will things change? Well, well, I think we're looking at a few things, all right. But at the same time, you know, I keep saying to the players, it doesn't matter what game you play if you're not if you're not up for every week. You know, yeah. you're a professional footballer. You should be. It's a brilliant place to play. Brilliant club to play with, in my opinion, the best club in the country. And uh, but then again, I would say that. Um, so you know, phenomenal support, home and away, and you know there should be no excuses for every match. That's the way I look at it. And uh, but at the same time, uh, while we were disappointed with Friday night, um, our performance wasn't bad at all. But we know tomorrow night we cannot make those mistakes and uh, we have to limit those mistakes and uh, go and play like we've played in previous games against Dundalk. You know, we've already you know, beat them early in the season. Um, so that's important, is it, John? Like your record against them in the recent has been great. So I, don't, glad you're I, I don't know. It, 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 it doesn't matter. It's a different game. What it, what it, what it shows, though, that we, that we can beat them and we've beat them on numer- a number of occasions. So from that point of view, what it means is that, you know, they have to win tomorrow night. Um, and ultimately, you know, we win, we win the league, we draw, we're, 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 we're a, a good step closer 
but at the same time they have to win. So it's an intriguing game. Mm. And the biggest one in, in the in, in the club uh, for twelve years, really. It's probably the biggest game in twelve years. For, in front of what should be seven thousand people there, kind of across, it might be great to, for the fans. Well, I wouldn't. Out. I wouldn't see it as right. the biggest game since two thousand five. I, I think the biggest game, you know, for us was last year's cup final, for this group, mm. um, because you know they were going for the double. Um, it looked like we were, we were written off because we 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 uh, we lost the, the league game to them a few weeks previous to that, and um, but thankfully we turned it around and we won the cup. So, for, you know, for me, I think in the history of the last four years for the club, I think we've had a lot of big wins and there's been a lot of occasions where, you know, obviously qualified for Europe, winning rounds in Europe have been, been massive matches. But I think the biggest game for us has been the cup final last year. Um, and now this is obviously a, a, a huge game and because, you know, you, you, we could emulate what 2005 and the 1993 team done. So um, that would be great for the lads, but, you know, you have to win to achieve that. And that's how big a role did the supporters have to play tomorrow? Like, I remember 2005, the atmosphere they created that night really had to get there. Huge. Roy, I keep saying you're nothing in any club without your supporters. And while, you know, we all come home the other night and we're all disappointed and everyone has their own reasons, at the end of the day, the support has been phenomenal. And we need everyone tomorrow night. I keep saying the Rebel Army in the ground early, right behind the team, create that positive vibe that hostile atmosphere that we get in other grounds away from home. Um, it's our patch and um, you know I'm just urging everyone to get out of work early, get into the ground and let's 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 try and create that atmosphere and drive drive the team on because there's no doubt to support our twelve our, our twelfth man and to stay positive and to stay with the team right through the game and um, we need we need all that tomorrow night because that all all that energy from the terraces feeds to the players and um, we know what a fantastic place Turner's Cross is when it's rocking and we need that tomorrow night. John, is there going to be for the future of the club over the next couple of weeks? I wouldn't think so, Martin. To be honest with you, um, unfortunately in Irish football the industry is poor. It's, 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 it's not a proper industry like in the UK. Um, we're trying to, this club, set up standards that we can bring players in and make it a proper industry in Cork. And, uh, and the club have come a long way in a short period of time, you know. And while everyone wants success and wants to win trophies, structure-wise behind the club is, you know, probably at its best it's ever been in the history. And I keep it's like building a house. We're building and building, and we're, and we're getting systems in, in place. But ultimately, at the end of the day, you know, winning first team matches is fickle. You know, and the opinions of supporters can influence, you know, a board as well. But at the same time, um, for me, the players have done great. You would like that the majority of the players stay for next season. Um, but at the same time, obviously, a lot of our players are in the market for other clubs. Um, but you would hope in the bigger picture, the environment, the, the setup that we have, um, the coaching staff we have, everything that we've done is probably at the highest standard that's done in the, that's done, um, in the country. I've been at clubs in England higher standard, the preparation that goes on. But so you'd hope that in the bigger picture, um, players would, would, would want to stay here, and I would expect that. But at the same time, um, for me, they're not playing for their, their futures. You know, but at the end of the day, if players decide they want to go somewhere else because it's a better financial package, that's their, that's their choice. Have you seen Bill Anderson such an interesting there right now? I say just wounded pride, Noel. Just wounded pride, I'd say. So it's it's about, you know, not feeling sorry for yourself, and getting your your, your focus ready, Play, playing for the pride of playing for your pride of yourself and the pride of the club, and you know, and the people that go and pay your wages every week. You feel obviously Phil has one big performance in the team, now, and it could be tomorrow. Oh, no, I think there's big performance in the team all season because they've been phenomenal. Yeah. We've lost a few games, over seasons not much, but they've come together. Um, but at the end of the day, it's pride in your jersey, pride in yourself. The people who come in and pay your wages, who follow you all over the country. Um, all they want is everyone to give everything they have. That's all they want. And um, and it's the, that type of game tomorrow night. If they do that, I'll be happy. And um, so that's what we look forward to the game.